Hey everyone, it's Larry from Fishing Denny. This video is a bit different. It's filmed over two different days. I had a little trouble the first day, hurt my foot, so I had to leave kind of quickly. And then the next day I went back and filmed again and the wind picked up and it just made it too difficult. So this segment is with the marinated corn and it actually worked out pretty well. It's something I'll definitely try again. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, more subscribers the better. Appreciate all of you watching and until next time, keep fishing. So we've put a couple worms on the rod on the left and we've got the corn that's been soaking in the cordial on the rod on the right. So we'll try this for a bit, see how it goes, and then uh, yeah, switch it up if need be. Okay, we got a we got a big hit on the worms. Let's see what we got here. That's a carp. Okay, so there we go. Nice size carp. Caught him on worms and he's 64 centimeters. So that's a good start to the day. Only been in it for about 20 minutes. So, uh, Get that, we'll get that line rebaited and back out. Okay. Well, now that we know there's something out there, I've changed up. So I've still got the, the corn with the cordial on the right, but now I've put the corn that's been marinated in the ginger on the left. So we'll try these for a good 20 or 30 minutes. If nothing happens, we'll change up. Okay. Getting our first bite on the corn with the cordial. Tugs at it. He's still there. I want to take it. Yes, we got him. Patience. Oh, yes. There we go. Shoot the camera. Just that way a bit. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a good tug. <laughs> well, that's another carp. Okay. Sorry about the mud very muddy up in here. Not as big as the other one. He's about 52 centimeters. Did a measurement on him. But uh, yeah, so we caught him off the corn uh, marinated in the uh, lime cordial. So that's two for today. We're already getting, uh, getting something playing with the one on the left, which is the corn that's been soaked in the lime cordial. Something's already had a couple little goes at it. Been 
plenty of action this morning. Getting plenty of bites, just not that one really good one where I can catch something. Not yet, anyway. But the uh, corn with the lime cordial is definitely doing the best. And he came back and grabbed it. One centimeters we put up a pretty good fight but uh yeah been hitting that lime cordial pretty good here for the last 15 20 minutes so we'll uh, get the line back out and see if we can catch some more come on take it Yeah, I can't thank my wife enough. Bought me a nice present, got me a tripod, it stands about five foot tall. I'm able to move it. So there you can see the rods. I'm trying to keep them out of the wind. But uh, much easier to rotate. Unfortunately, there's that sun glare, so that's what I've been trying to stay out of. So we'll move it back this way. Yes, it's worked out fantastic. The video I shot where I uh, marinated the corn and the cordial and the garlic and ginger was all filmed off, filmed using this. It's, it's made life much easier when trying to make these videos. Well, once again, Mother Nature's not cooperating with me. <laughs> the wind's just getting too much to keep the, keep the lines tight and it's getting very difficult. I am getting plenty of bites. It's just it's just been very difficult to um, try and get anything. So the weather this week's not supposed to be good. It's supposed to be rainy a couple days and for a couple days 40k winds. So not sure when I'm going to get out again. I uh, did like the corn. The corn with the lime cordial worked very well. Uh, not only did it attract the fish but it seemed when they were there they stayed on it. They stayed on it until it was gone. So that was good. And so until next time, keep fishing.